How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kobe and today I'm going to be bringing you a video on my hunting setup. Now this is the setup that I ran for 2021 and it's going to be the same setup that I run for 2022 for hunting. Um, this is my Matthews V327. I picked this up last March in 2021 uh, and I hunted with it all last season. I shot my first bow buck with this bow which was actually that 11 point that I got on camera last season. I'll put up a clip of that right here. I'm gonna run through exactly how I have this bow set up, everything that goes into it. We're gonna talk stabilizers, we're gonna talk sights, we're gonna talk rests, arrows, releases, everything. So basically just uh, starting off with the bow, this is a 2021 V327. This is set at 27 inches, 60 pound mods, 85% let off. It is maxed out at 60 pounds. For strings and cables, I'm running gas bow strings. I'm really happy with these strings. I've had a set on my Halo X comp that I've shot for about a year now. I'm really happy with the gas bow strings overall, so I'm gonna keep running those for now. As for rest, I'm running the Hamski Hybrid Hunter Pro. I've been pretty happy with this as far as a hunting setup. I run the Trinity Target Pro on my uh, X comp, and I really love the ham skis. As far as rest, that's my go-to. I don't think I'll shoot anything else. I'm running the Excel AccuTouch Carbon Pro uh, for a sight, just the regular slider, not the landslide. Um, I have not upgraded yet, although I do plan to in the future. As far as the scope, I'm running the UltraView UV3 XL with the double pin, 19 thousandths pin. Uh, I really love that setup. My top pin when it's set at 20 yards, my bottom, my second pin hits right at 32 yards, which is pretty perfect for hunting scenarios. As for bars, I'm running the AAE hot rods. These are the street rods. Um, I got a 12 inch up front and a 10 inch out back. For weight, I'm running 10 ounces on the back, three on the front. That gives me a pretty good balance with this bow. Um, I seem to really, really hold steady with that setup. I took the factory grip off the bow and I wrapped it with lizard skins. Um, I really like these lizard skins. I shoot that on my Halon X comp as well. As far as a release, um, I'm switching it up this year for 2022. Last year I, I shot my HBC Flex with this. I actually shot that 11 point with that. Last year was my first year shooting a hinge for hunting. Um, and this year I'm gonna keep the trend going, but I actually did happen to pick up a UltraView hinge from Travis. This is the brass. It is the Gen 1 with the brass hunting bracket. I really like a lot of brass, a lot of weight on my, my releases, so that's gonna be really nice. The hunting bracket's gonna be really nice. As for peep, I am running the specialty hooded peep, um, just because that's what I run on everything is specialty peeps. I really like those hooded peeps. They give you a little bit of uh, sunshade if the sun ever does hit that peep in an awkward position. As for quivers, I have this set up for a tight spot quiver. Um, I did not go Matthews. I really struggled with making the choice whether I was going to go tight spot or go with the Matthews quiver. Um, I went with the tight spot mainly because I decided to shoot uh, small diameter arrows this year. So what I'm shooting for arrows this year are the deer crossing archery silencers. Now these are a really, really awesome arrow. Um, deer crossing archery as a whole is a really awesome company. They have some awesome shafts. Actually, as a matter of fact, what I shoot for target out of my X comp right here are the full calibers. Um, I love these arrows, but deer crossing as a whole, I love all their arrows. Um, I'm going to be shooting the hunters out of my recurve up there um, next year. Um, so if you're interested in getting any arrows, I definitely would recommend looking into deer crossing. Their motto is best, best arrow for your buck and they're not lying. They are the best arrow for your buck. These are the DCA silencers. These are a micro diameter. So these are 1000 straightness, 400 spine. I have these set up with just the standard aluminum outserts. I'm running it with 125 grains in the nose, four fletched boning X vein, two and a quarter inch. Uh, I do have pin knocks installed in these right now just because I like to have them for when we go to TAC or the R100 or anything like that. I do take the hunting bow to some of those shoots and also to some local 3D shoots. So that's what I'm running for hunting this year. These arrows are weighing out right at 450 grains. That's exactly where I wanted to be as far as grain weight. It's gonna end up being a really, really devastating arrow and I know I'm gonna get some awesome penetration with those. And I tell you what, those things fly like absolute laser guided missiles. 
pretty much going over the setup. That's pretty much all of it. So basically what we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna throw in some clips of me and Travis going to our Wednesday night two-man league up at Shoepec Sporting Goods. Now, if you're local to the Jackson area, I would highly recommend that you stop by Shoepec. They're located on 141 West Pearl Street. I'll also put that up here in the video. So you can, uh, if you're ever in the Jackson area, whether you live nearby or just stopping through Jackson, Michigan, um, go ahead and stop in there to shoot packs. They have a really great selection, both guns, bows, everything you can need. Make sure you stop in there. Uh, let them know that Kobe sent you um, and come hang out with us because we're there at least once a week and we're there quite often. That's our home shop. So we're always happy to help them out, shout them out when we can. So yeah, I'll throw in the video of us going up to Shoepex for our two-man league. And then after that, we, I also have some clips of us going to the Jackson County Outdoor Club, doing some shooting at the range there uh, with our good buddies, Eric and Dalton. Dalton actually happened to pick up the exact same bow just recently, a couple weeks ago. Um, it is a V327. His is set up at 70 pounds and about a half inch longer than this. We did crown out both this bow and his bow and we were getting very similar results. So go ahead and check that out and we'll see you on the next one.
with the other bits though.